Yeah, so we, we lost a lot of uh, upperclassmen last year. A lot of our leadership um, graduated, uh, finished up their COVID year, and kind of moved on. So um, all of our teams are really young. Um, we have a couple of transfer kids that are going to come in and, and help us a lot. But um, part of our emphasis in recruiting this year was to bring in some youth, um, some excitement, to have some, have some new energy on our team. I think we were able to do that. Um, but yeah, you know, we got some senior leadership that is coming back on the cross country side, on the men's side especially. Um, we're super excited about their leadership, but the energy of our team um, early on this year has been has been pretty phenomenal. So we're we're really excited about what we have coming up. Coach, we mentioned all the teams. It seems like you're in charge of. You got to have some help. You brought in a little bit of new help this year, Coach Kirby Shepard. Go ahead and speak on his behalf and what he brings to the program as a whole. Yeah, so Coach Shepard, um, you know, we, we did a pretty extensive search um, looking for a new cross country coach and distance coach, and there's no question, Coach Shepard brings head coaching experience. He brings administrative experience. Um, you know, we've already had more kids on campus um, this year. Uh, than we had in the last two years um, from a recruiting standpoint. So um, super well connected, really good guy, um, hard worker. So um, yeah, I'm gonna have to up my game a little bit to keep up with him. So but we're pretty excited about having him. Coach Cross the Country season gets started this Saturday, the DBU XC opener as its title yeah. sa uh, says. Talk a little bit about that race and, and what you're looking for both on the men's and the women's side. And the first race of the season seems like that oftentimes can be one of the tougher ones. Yeah, yeah. So DBU, obviously, um, they presented an interesting challenge for us. Um, we're going to run against some conference schools. We're going to see some uh, some teams in our region that maybe we wouldn't see otherwise. Um, so I think it's a good place for us to, you know, and it's close. So it's a good place for us to kind of get started. Um, but really, we're not, we're kind of going in with our eyes kind of wide open. Our, our women's team is really young. Our, our leadership um you know, we have one senior, everybody else is sophomores and freshmen. Um, our men's side, really heavy on the senior leadership side. So we're just kind of go in and kind of break the ice and kind of see where we're at. And uh, we know that, that we have some meets coming up later that will really set the tone for what, what we're capable of doing uh, in the conference and whatnot. Coach, you mentioned that the senior leadership that you've got on the men's side, you know, Lorenzo Chavez, Jack Gibson, Landon Thornton, those guys are all returners. And then on the women's side, you really just don't have it as much. You got some experience returning, you know, Marissa G, Shelby John, Tiffany Vargas. You know, what are you looking for from those returners to help those newcomers along just a little bit in this first race? Yeah, so I think on the women's side, especially, um, again, they're very youthful. Um, I think I think Marissa and Callista will will they have a little bit of experience, right? But they're still pretty young to the to the cross country game still. Um, so I, we're just looking for those kids to just learn how to run together um, and, and be a really solid team. On the men's side, it's a little different because Landon had an unbelievable summer. Um, he's incredibly fit right now. Um, Tony, Jack, obviously, you know, four years of experience with us. And we really think our men's team, if we can stay healthy, can really make a big impact, not only at the conference level, but, you know, maybe in the region as well. So. Uh, we just don't have a lot of depth on the men's side or the women's side, so we, we can't have many injuries or little, little hiccups along the way. So, Coach, appreciate your time this morning. Good luck this weekend. Excited to get the season started. Appreciate it.